Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, round one, um, we have plays, but again, unfortunately, like I was hoping wouldn't happen, we're missing our black, which sucks, but we're going to keep anyway. I don't think I'm playing first. Yeah, that really stinks. So, I'm going to run out our white source and pass the turn. It would have been nice to draw a swamp there. But I guess it's okay. We play Ruthless Ripper, we flip it face up by displaying a black card, and then we, uh, my op our opponent just goes down to two life, basically. That's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So we'll run this out. Our opponent's playing white-black. Not sure if it's white-black-red or white-black-green. I think there was enough good obs and cards going through that draft that it's possible someone else was playing white, black, green. That stinks, but okay. Yeah, Inok Bonkin would have been really nice to have there. That stinks. Debilitating injury this. Now my hope is that he plays a big fat fatty and then I can smite the monstrous next turn. Which will allow me to buy me some time to outlast and do the stuff that I need to do. Actually, I didn't really think that one through. I just played my Merrick Nightblade, which means I can't turn my... <laughs> oh, bad plays. It's getting late. I gotta stop playing for a while. I've already played three drafts today. I just have I've just played too many. Well, that stinks. Oh, cool. He probably won't block, which I don't blame him. And now we play the waiting game. Leaping Master. Nice to see you. I like that. I guess we're just gonna outlast this guy. See what's nice about that is, um, what's especially nice about Brave the Sands too is that it allows your creatures to attack 
and they don't have to tap to do it, which means you can attack and still tap to do Outlast, which is really, really nice. Especially when you have, like, death-touching guys. I, okay, well... Oh, okay. Our opponent, uh... Swamp, Swamp, Mardu Charm, Feet of Resistance. Not really sure why he decided to give us that information, but he's a, he's a nice guy for doing it. I'm not, I'm not gonna return the favor. So he had a Feet of Resistance, he had a Mardu Charm. Not sure what he was exactly waiting for, but... Um, Leaping Master, Debilitating Strike, Salt Eye Scavenger, Mardu Charm. So he can do 4 damage to us, he can do 2 damage. We'll go to sideboard. Uh, I'm not sure that I want to change anything. I don't know what else I can change, to be honest with you. It just... I think we, we got relatively lucky. Taking the Molting Snake Skin out was probably a good idea. I might take out another Smite the Monstrous because it doesn't look like, and I may throw in a Molting Snake Skin, because it doesn't look like he is, it doesn't look like he's playing anything that I can really take advantage of Smite the Monstrous. I mean, it, I didn't see any big creatures, which kind of stinks. Um, end Hostilities, I wonder if End Hostilities, I mean, I can include End Hostilities and it may be, I don't know, it may be kind of a last resort sort of thing. Maybe. Alabaster Kieran doesn't really do anything. It doesn't block Saltai Scavenger. It doesn't die to, to Debilitating Strike, which is nice. But other than that, I think we're just going to keep going with this. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I, I, I Either I got to get better at drafting, which I... I got to get better at drafting. I also have to... Uh, Jeez. So bad. So bad. I'm not playing first, so I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's just not having a black source really kills me. Um, it just feels like I'm always first picking a bad card that I never end up playing, or it just never ends up being a thing for me, unfortunately. Alright, I guess I'm going to keep it. At least I have a play. Hopefully I draw into something a little bit cheaper. Drawing into a Disowned Ancestor would have been would be perfect. Or a Ruthless Ripper. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cast this. I'm just gonna cast it because I don't. I've, I don't have a. I don't know that I have a creature that I can reveal to turn it face up, and hopefully, I can attack in and uh, proc raid from Mardu Horde Chief with it, which would be really really nice. Couple more lands, and I'm actually not doing too poorly. Dragon Scale Boon isn't exactly the card that I was looking at. For some reason, I thought that was uh, the five mana put six counters on creatures. I really need to start looking at my cards and watching what I'm actually playing instead of just putting everything in my deck. That was kind of stupid. Hmm. Well, that stinks. It's going to do okay for us here, I think. But... Put two 1-1 one, one white warrior creature tokens onto the battlefield. They gain first strike until end of turn. Okay. I saved my Ruthless Ripper. I'm not sure if it's worth saving, but I saved it. L 
long putting long shot squad out and outlasting it will be nice because then ruthless ripper will have death touch I'm guessing he was probably trying to proc raid although I don't know what he's gonna have it's, it's big Saltai scavenger there you go hey disowned ancestor how you doing bro um hmm. yeah I think I just attack in honestly I mean, I'm willing to trade my Ruthless Ripper at this time for his Saltai Scavenger if he wants to make that trade. He does not. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to play the Disowned Ancestor first, and then Obzenguide face down. Because I may be able to pull the mana for Obzenguide next turn, and even if I don't, I can outlast the disowned ancestor and then just play the long shot squad um, and I'll be able to better block the Saltai scavenger even if I play the long shot squad now I can't outlast it but I I definitely need to rely on the long shot squad to help me stop um, the Saltai scavenger a removal spell for the Inok Bonkin would be nice as well my guess is he isn't going to attack. Or he will. I'm guessing he left. He's representing Mardu Charm here. Okay. So I have the mana to morph. So I, I don't think there's any way I don't attack here. I'm just going to attack here. There's no point in attacking with my disowned ancestor. Although I could just make him believe I have something. Okay. Well. I figured, I thought there was a chance that he's, he's representing Mardu Charm, so I thought he may charm my Obzen Guide. But doesn't look like he has it or he didn't want to do it for some reason either way I'm not sure what I'm not sure what to play around here because I saw so little of his hand like I said I saw we know he has debilitating strike he's got obs and charm I'm not sure what else he's got I can't remember what he displayed to us I'll probably go back and look at it oh okay 5, 9, 10, 11, that's 12 damage. Oh, that's... That's what he was doing. Interesting. That's a soldier, though. So this is the only guy that has lifelink. That definitely hurts. Next turn I'm going to be attacked for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hmm. I don't know what he's got, but the morph really isn't going to save him, and I'm going to go up for life. Unless he has another rush of battle, which would be hilariously ridiculous, um, I don't see him doing 15 damage to me. 5, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16. Actually, another rush of battle will end the game. But it's a sorcerer, and he just missed his chance to do it if he was going to do it, so we survive another turn. Hmm. 
He's got stuff he can do, he just hasn't done it yet. Shambling attendance. I'm actually okay with that, because I'd rather he use up all of his mana. Although he can match me one for one now, which I do not like. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hmm. I really need a flyer at this point. Stinks. Do I have anybody with trample? If I attack in, he knocks out one of my guys with death touch. Well, he's only got four. So if I attack, he's got to give up a lot. Which I think I'm okay with. Shambling probably blocks the Obzen guide, I'm guessing. Ruthless. I think I just attack here, to be honest. Right? Or do I really want to attack the long shot squad? If he blocks the Shambling Attendant, he throws the Shambling Attendants in front of the long shot squad. The 1-1 one, one in front of the 4-4, four, four, the 2-2 two, two in front of the 2-3, and then this 2-1 in front of either of these. I'm only getting three damage through. Maybe I leave this back. Just in case. Wait, how does he block here? If I attack, he throws the Shambling Attendants in front of... Well, the Mardu Horde Chief. He probably blocks the Mardu Horde Chief because it won't kill him. That or the Disowned Ancestor. This goes in front of this. This goes in front of this. Or he could double block something. I don't want him to sit there and kill me with Sultai, the Sultai Scavenger. But I don't want to sit back and wait for him to come to me either. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is tough. I'm not sure what I do here. I can attack him with a 3-3 and take out some of his guys. That might not be too bad. Maybe I just do the re the death touch thing, I think. Huh. If I attack him with all five, this could go very horribly. His shambling attendance isn't going to die. And I don't really have anything to deal with the shambling attendance. Well, that's not true. I have suppression field. The only thing that's going to die is my morph. Right? Yeah. And then... Screw it. Let's let's see what he does. All in. I'll let him decide how to block. Alright, that's what I figured. Which, I'm okay with that. And then all the rest of his creatures essentially die. I don't see how they survive. He can throw the 2-2 in front of the disowned ancestor, and that will survive. But the Inok Bonkin, 3... I think if I were him, I'd probably throw the Shambling Attendants in front of the Longshot Squad. So he's down to two. He's got two cards. Be nice if we played a land. I think I just gotta keep beating in. He can't attack with a Saltai Scavenger unless he's got a follow-up creature, I think. None of these are warriors. Oh great. I hate that. Oh great. Now I got a now I got an island. Or uh planes. So let's see. What am I playing around here? Maybe just do it again. He might have Obzen Charm. Or Debilitating Strike, although Debilitating Strike doesn't save him. He blocks three of my guys. Let's wait and see. 
I'll let him decide what to do. Unless he's got an option charm, I'm just gonna get rid of the ruthless the ruthless ripper just trades up. So he's gonna get rid of the guy with reach, which is probably a good idea. And he does have a play. Ooh, god damn, that hurts. That hurts me bad. Well, I'm still not in the worst possible position. He's only got, he's got two cards. I gotta get through eventually. Great. Can't really get through that, unfortunately. Go ahead and attack. He pulled an utter end. That's what he had. That's a really good card. Definitely worth a first pick. Goes well on Obzin, goes well in Mardu. I'm really behind on time, too. This is a long and frustrating match. This goes to third game, then. I'm going to be kind of disappointed. All I can really do, I can't attack next turn, unfortunately, unless I get something that can help me beat the unyielding Krumar. I definitely can't attack into it. It's going to get first strike. That shambling attendance really stabilized him. I got rid of my Ruthless Ripper, and I only had one of those, unfortunately, so... If I'd been able to flip the Ruthless Ripper, I could have killed him. I'm not sure if our opponent disconnected. Alright guys, I'm going to pause this to see if the opponent comes back. Um, I don't know if they disconnected or what. But I'll resume the recording when, uh, when they come back. Alright, looks like the opponent decided to come back. Which is good. We have a Seeker of the Way. Um, I don't think that really does anything to help us, unfortunately. So I'm just going to outlast, and then I'm going to play Seeker of the Way, and then I'm going to pass the turn. So we now have three creatures. If he, hopefully he's got, he's sitting on two lands, because if he is, then I can just attack in and deal the damage I need to do. Yeah, this could go pretty poorly for us, but... I think I'm just gonna attack. See what he has. Oh, hey, cool. Looks like maybe he was uh, sitting on a couple lands. GG. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I had some stuff coming up, still had some creatures and that, but uh, yeah, that didn't go poorly for us. Uh, not to be mean, but I'm not so sure that our opponent had the best deck to go up against. He had some good cards. He had Utter Hand. Shambling Attendance will stabilize like crazy. Unyield Krumar did hold us off. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't that bad. I shouldn't talk. I lose all the time. Alright, so that was round one. Uh, feeling pretty good. Like I said, I think our deck is relatively good. I know some people are going to lose their lose their top over having 42 cards in a deck, but like I said, I'm wondering if in this draft format, if it's okay to go above 40 cards if you don't have a lot of mana fixing. I'm giving it a shot. I'm, gonna, I'm willing to do the experiment, and hey, you can come along for the ride. So, 
like I said, guys, that was it for round one. Uh, see, see you in round two.